You're listening to the Not So Black and White Real Estate Podcast with your hosts, Sir Colin Campbell and Gary A. McGowan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's your host, Sir Colin Campbell, here with Gary A. McGowan, and you're tuned into the Not So Black and White Real Estate Podcast. We're on site right now at one of the biggest real estate conference in Toronto hosted by Keller Williams. And in the hot seat, we have two dynamic entrepreneurs, business owners, just two great gentlemen. Keep going, keep uh, going. <laughs> I think that's it, I ran out of breath. <laughs> Sandy McKay and Andre Chen. All right, so let's state the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> no? Do you don't want to go there? Absolutely, we go there. Oh, I got to go to that. <laughs> we can say it, we can say we it. Can. You got the, the black and white on this side, you got the black and white on that side. <laughs> A little bit of a reverse Oreo thing happening. It's like a Max Oreo, <laughs> yeah. Oreo, yeah. Oreo uh, Big Mac or something. Yeah. Like or <laughs> not so black and white squared. Yes, yeah, squared. It's probably a better, better, better uh, name for us. Absolutely. Better. I think we, we need to. I think we need to go back and tell this a little story about it, so people don't think we're just kind of. <laughs> okay. Don't make yeah, it weird. Set it up. There. Let's set it up. Let's set it up. You want to tell it? I, I I'll set it up. You finish because it's actually your story. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here we are. Uh, this is I'm going to say two or th- probably three years ago. We're in Dallas, and and Colin and I had just uh, finished a lot of episodes of this very very show, and uh, they were out there for the world to see. We're at KW Family Reunion, big event in the KW world, and Colin and I are there. We're doing our thing. Of course, these two guys, the wannabe. Uh, podcast hosts. <laughs> they have their own podcast, by the way. We're going to talk about that in a bit. Um, they were also there. Sandy, you should probably pick it up from here. Well, we're standing in line at uh, one of the restaurants. Can't remember where it was. Probably, probably buying a beer. Maybe, if, maybe food. And uh, I think. I don't think it was because of me. I think they probably <laughs> saw the Canadian. <laughs> they saw the Canadian stuff, and they said, "Here it is." <laughs> and they said. Uh, you're the you're the black uh, oh and the black and white guy oh you're the black and white podcast guys from Canada because there's only one other black person in Canada. You can't put too many of those. No. I think somewhere in that it got mixed up and uh, you know. But your answer was absolutely, we are. absolutely, absolutely. We're the biggest, best black and white real estate podcast in Canada. Yes. That's right. And it's been going since. It's been yeah. going since. Right? Yeah. You guys held us uh, together. You were the glue that bonded us together. <laughs> well, and I love when people do, because then you go, no, 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 it's it's the other, the other black guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, which one are you? No, no, I'm the other one. That's the one you're looking for. So it happens all the time, and it's going to continue to happen, and, and we're okay with it. We're happy to support. Yeah. support. And we have fun with it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I'm actually sitting here. I'm 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 the one. I'm the odd one out on on this desk today. Uh, I think it's pretty cool because I met all these gentlemen over the last ten or so years, and uh, we were at, at I think at the time perhaps all solo individual agents, entrepreneurs, uh, maybe some teams have started. I'm not exactly sure. But the cool thing that I get to experience is these these three gentlemen now are all. Uh, owners of their own brokerages, owners of their own KW brokerages. I'm going to throw it to you, Sandy. Um, how does that begin? How does that even start? Well, KW is a little different than other brokerages in a lot of ways, as we all know, right? And we do things a lot differently. Um, we we don't just hand out franchises, for one. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a little bit of a process there. Uh, it, rightfully so. I think there, you know we want to be in business with great people that have big visions to do big things. And... Uh, and KW's always been about that. And my journey, though, has been kind of, I guess, from the bottom up, in a way, uh, or from the ground up. Because um, I started as a, as a buyer's agent on a team, right? And I always tell people that I, I, I'm thankful that I did because I've learned so many things along the different sort of levels along the way. Um, learned how to be a team member, how to lead a team, how to grow my leadership. And KW's been a massive part of that journey for me. Um, probably as big of any impact, as big of an impact as anything else in my life, uh, certainly in the business world. So um, I've always just, you know, matched up with that, those values and that system that KW has. And I, I, I live it and breathe it as much as I can every day. And the next logical step was kind of taking over and opening a brokerage so I can give back to more people, be a part of more people's lives, impact more people's lives. And KW's got a great platform to do that. So I'm just super honored and, and excited to keep growing. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Andre, 
the brokerage, in, in, Sandy started a brand new brokerage. Uh, you took over an existing brokerage. Yes, talk to me, talk to us a little bit about that transition of, of new ownership, new leadership, but perhaps uh, a new foundation and a, and a new path. Yeah, so I mean, very, very similar story to Sandy. We, we kind of came up together. I think who you surround yourself with really matters. You hear that all the time. And uh, that small group that we had, I think are all owners now, are all in ownership. But being able to take what somebody else has done, realize the gaps that are there, and then try to recreate it is one of the hardest things out there to do. There, yeah. There's so much stigma, there's so much other things that, that just make the environment harder. So we kind of described it as a cruise ship. So here's this big thing that's floating in the ocean, and you now have the tumultuous task of turning it around. Mm. And like anything else, you're not going to turn it around on a dime. It's going to take time. And so that's where we're, we are. That's the phase that we're in is we're turning this big ship. We're recreating the culture. We're, re, we're bringing it forward into the 21st century. And that's how it started is, is we literally just said, where do we want to finish? And what's the first thing that we have to do? And just focus on the one thing all the way through to keep us moving forward. Beautiful. I like it. Colin. Yes. Um, Andre, you mentioned surrounding yourself with people. And as you continue to grow, obviously your circle grows. Uh, what are you, who's now, who are the people that you're looking to attract into your circle now? So the interesting thing about that is, is the circle I'm referring to has gotten bigger in terms of their mindset. And so, you know, we talk about finding new circles, but you don't always have to. If the person sitting next to you, like this guy here, Sandy McKay, walks up to you one day and says, hey, you know what, I'm gonna go do a billion dollars in sales, and you're at a million in sales, you're gonna naturally do more. It's gonna naturally challenge you. And so the beauty of the circle that I'm a part of is that I don't necessarily need to attract new people because the, the, the group is already thinking so big that there's times I show up and kind of go, okay, I got to retool the vision and I got to go bigger because now we got people saying, you know, I want to own a billion dollars in property. Well, we didn't think that was possible. Now we got teams saying, I want to do two, three, four billion dollars in sales. Two years ago, that wasn't possible. So you don't necessarily need a new circle. You need to challenge your circle, water the grass where you are and push those people to be even bigger and bigger producers as well. So I've, I've thought of it a little bit different since that. and and. I'm grateful for that circle because you, sometimes you get lucky. Uh, Andre, that is powerful. Uh, Sandy, what are you doing? Because I know we're all part of the same circle, but what are you doing to keep challenging everyone in your circle to think bigger and to grow beyond where they are currently? Yeah, great, great answer, Andre, too. This circle is really, really tough to get into, by the way, for, for everyone listening. So, you know, uh, I like that you just reach, closed the door. Don't reach, yeah, yeah. We're not open to anyone. Don't reach out to us about it. Uh, a few don't try along the way. Wow. <laughs> wow. This podcast is coming to a quick end. <laughs> um, you know what? It's a, it is a massively important piece of life to not necessarily be... You don't, it doesn't have to equate to bigger numbers in sales or properties or anything like that. I think you know it's all about being the best version of yourself. I've heard Gary Keller say this many times, is that his goal in life is to be the best version of himself. And when you make that the focus, all the other stuff around it, big life, business, big family life, big friendships, big you know, um, spiritual life, all these different components kind of go along with that. And, th and that's something I kind of focus on a lot is just being a great person as much, you know, we're all gonna screw up, but be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be. Take what you've got with your physical, your mental self, and just be always growing and developing that and being the best version. And the money will follow that. Everything, every version of success will follow. So I think about that a lot with the people that I surround myself with is what are we doing collectively to be better as a group, as, as individuals, but as a group as well. And um, I think when you've got a, a tribe or a group that's really you know, focused on that, um, everything else takes place. So I really want to focus on just people being better people. I yeah. mean, that's, that's the core of it. I like it. And, and I get to look at it from a different perspective in the sense, I'm not in specifically that circle you're referring to, albeit I consider you all really close friends. Absolutely. And I'm, I'm a part of a, you know, maybe a broader circle. But here's the, here's the cool thing, gentlemen, is I get to reap the rewards, the ripple effect of what you're doing it ripples into people like me and others. And, and, and sometimes they may not even be associated with you. 
I think that's what I think you need to keep that in in, in, in you know part of your consciousness that what we what we build has that ripple down effect, right, Andre? Yeah, well, and, and it's funny you mentioned that because that's one of the best parts about it is when you get to that inner circle, every single person is there for somebody else. Mm -hmm. And for the people that we're in business with, it's not about us, it's about helping everybody else. And that was the realization we had three Decembers ago, yep. I think yep. it was, when we were sitting in a room together kind of going, well, wait a second, we all just want to go change other people's lives. It, it wasn't about us. And so if you subscribe to that theory, the more lives you change, you're going to reap the benefits of it. We've just kind of gone and done that and, mm -hmm. and seen growth through that, created opportunities through that and, and really attracted some of the greatest minds, I think, not just in real estate, but in business to our world by continually just helping other people achieve their goals. We, we've we touched a lot on, you know, growth and success. Sandy, you'd mentioned success as well. What does success mean to you, Sandy? Uh, waking up and being excited, being the best version of myself, be, becoming better and screwing up and just constantly being really grateful about where I've come from and all the achievement I've had and also um, being excited about the future, whether it's good outcomes or bad, just being excited about it and, uh, you know, making sure that I'm being there and being a great person for everyone else. I think uh, when I was at an event f maybe four or five years ago, I, I really, really got clear on my mindset around that is because um, I, like anyone, I wake up and sometimes some mornings I'm really excited, sometimes not as excited, sometimes feeling great, sometimes a little down, whatever. Um, but the way that I found to counteract that was just like Andre was commenting on, just make it about others. The, everything you make about yourself in life has a very, very, very small limit to it. But when you make it about others, there's, there's endless growth, endless opportunity, endless excitement. And uh, I, I change my mindset to every day I'm waking up, I'm becoming better, not for myself, but for others. And when you do that, you know, I can't let others down. So I'm always going to be excited to, to wake up and do whatever I have to do that day. And uh, that's really helped me feel fulfilled and excited. And that's what it's about for me. That's just, powerful. Just to touch on that, like Sandy, your commitment, we're going to take over a little bit. We're going to ask a few questions, but Sandy, you, you Here we go. It. There it is. <laughs> All right. The show starts now. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the warm up show. Yeah. Yeah, good one. Yeah, great, 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 great work. Thanks, great for, job. thanks for getting good us job. here. We're going to jump yeah. in. Um, but Sandy did this this thing that I heard about around this time last year. And, and Sandy, you, you committed to the who, not how principle. And, you know, someone said it to me. And at the time, I didn't believe it. I was like, there's no way that, that you would do that. And, and I think you did every day, you did 30 minutes of the book, who, not how, for almost 90 days, if not if not longer. Yeah. And, and so when you talk about that commitment to... Who, who is in your life and who you're around and who you're surrounding yourself with, you took it at a level that was almost unheard yeah. of doing that every single day. And when we talk about growth and things that are going to challenge you, I wasn't going to hear that and then be the person who only read the book once. Mm -hmm. So I've read it probably 20 times yeah. since then because seeing how you grew and your commitment to it and your commitment to others and realizing that, hey, there's a, there's a provable system here where I can be better for others and someone's already living it then I started kind of doing that stuff. So, so I just wanted to kind of throw that in there. I know you don't tell a lot of people that story, but it's always inspired me because the people that are around you doing things that you never thought of will absolutely change your world. But most people sit and just admire. They don't jump in with you. Hmm. And I think that's the difference in, in the group that we found and the people that we welcome into our lives now is are they action-oriented? Yeah. More importantly, are they results oriented? There's a lot of talk out there, a lot of people trying stuff, but are they focused on the results? And I think that was a prime example of that was I want to get better at people, so I'm going to do something that's going to guarantee my results. And then here you are today. You know what's funny about that one, that story is uh, I, I, I don't, I, if I'm on a stage somewhere or something, it was fully intentional. But in this environment, it was a complete accident of reading that book over and over and over again because I don't know if you guys have download books on your watch, Audible? Yes. Okay, it's a terrible process. <laughs> it, takes like, it takes like like weeks for a, a book to go from your phone to your your, uh, your watch. Sometimes it doesn't go, sometimes it stops. Over I, don't, I can't figure it out. Um, Gary's probably got the answer. You're, you're better no at this clue. stuff. No clue. But for like a, two months straight, and I didn't have the right, all I needed was a little thing to carry my phone when I was running. Didn't have it, so I wasn't using my phone, so I was using my watch. 
and I couldn't freaking get another book on it. <laughs> so that was the only book you <laughs> had. That was the only book I had for like for months. <laughs> and I am thankful it was that book. It was, a, it was a great book to be stuck on there. Can you imagine if <laughs> it was a Dr. Seuss book? <laughs> Actually, no, you totally changed Andre's life with <laughs> your stupid watch. Ch changed my life with thank you, Apple. We appreciate yes. you. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's awesome. So, so I got a question for, for both of you. So we know that, you know, the podcast... You know, you guys have been doing it for a while now, but there's this new life, this new invigoration that's happening in the not so black and white real estate world. Talk to us about that. Like, tell us the journey on what fired you guys up again to be able to produce and, and be back on, on on the air. So Colin just pointed at me. I think he means I have the answer. I think so. Apparently. I think yeah, so, yeah, apparently. I think. This is fun to be on this side. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's rare that we get asked questions. Here we go. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here's what we know: is if there's not a voice, people will create their own voice for you, right? Very true. So we have a voice. The four of us have a voice. Our teams, our brokerages, our market centers, our you know, our, our family. They have their own voice, and sometimes. We need to be the voice for them. So how can we be the voice for other KW agents or other realtors in the business uh, to shed a positive light on our industry, uh, to shed a positive light on, let's call it like it is, our brand, right, KW? Uh, there's an opportunity. And, and I think opportunities like this and events like this and, and other things that you guys have been hosting and your podcasts, uh, I think there's a tremendous opportunity for somebody to just step up and say, listen, this is what we're about. We want you to come along for the ride and let's have some fun together. And in addition to what Gary's saying, like clearly there, there has been a void and naturally something has to fill that void. And we look at it to say, okay, how do we be the champion now for other KW agents? How do we be the champion where we're highlighting that rookie of the year, where we're highlighting that agent who's doing 50 deals that nobody even knew about. How do we champion the industry? And that just became a decision and this is a platform we know very well and we're like, okay, let's just get back to doing it, right? I yeah. love that. I like it. And, and, and let me add on to that. Uh, if we have a platform, let's use it and let's use it to highlight those yes. that don't have it. Yes, right. and it's our responsibility. Yeah, yeah there you go. Yeah. Well, well and, and Gary, we talked about it earlier. It's like the, the humbleness of the company that we're in makes us all humble. Like we're not, we're not at the front of the room, we're not screaming yeah. into the mountains, but our company has built more millionaires in real estate. And what they say today, we've got three or four billionaires now that, yes. that are realtors that are in our company. Nobody else is doing that sort of stuff, but we don't like to brag, we don't like to, so it's great to have something like this or Sandy's podcast that that we can. Yeah, yeah it's the other way. It's the reverse <laughs> Oreo. Um, so. We got people walking by. It's like that is that the not so black white real yeah. estate by podcast two. times two times yeah. squared. Yeah. They're, I'm confused. <laughs> what is this platform you're speaking of? It's, it's the best. It's the best. And, and so you're right. There is this voice now that people can hear about all the incredible things that that agents from all brands can do, but more specifically KW as well. Yeah, nailed it. What nailed about, it. Uh, I, got a, I got a question, because now I got, a, I, got a, I got one question at least, right? <laughs> I want to know what the deal is with, because uh, you're talking about the messaging and you know, relaying messaging out there to the world. I know you guys both, I always thought Colin was the t-shirt guy with, uh, yes. with all the sayings. Yes. Every saying on his shirt always says something cool. But then I've, I'm looking at uh, Gary's hat here and you got realtychatter.com. And it you're is. running cons zoom in? as your cardio yeah. on the shirt. It's true. Um, what's the deal with that? Are you guys, uh, are you guys, is he like your model for that? Or what is, <laughs> how does that work? <laughs> He's oh, modeled damn. nothing. <laughs> the secret is out. <laughs> <laughs> He's modeled nothing. You know what? I think it boils down to Sandy. Like, if you can't have fun in the business that you're in, if you can't poke a little fun at yourself, uh, you know, maybe, maybe you need to do a self check, right? Um, but it's, it's a, to call it what it is, yeah, it's a new website, new brand, realtychatter.com. Thank you for throwing that my way. Yeah, hey, I'm a customer now. So I yeah, can, you are yeah, a customer. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and again, it's, it's one of those platforms that we have at our fingertips where we can send people to to provide information, education, uh, fun within the industry, and, and you know, do it collaboratively as well, right? Cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. good question, Our, Sandy. Yeah, good, great, <laughs> great question. That might be my favorite question of the day. I want to be a model one day. One day. Yeah. <laughs> I can be the white model. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get my own black and white. Yeah, I get, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. That's cool music. That is awesome. <laughs> I know nice. I got some exercise to do. I'll get there. I'll get yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Well, my friends, uh, this is always a pleasure to hang out with you two, Thank you. and uh, and and I know that there's more. There's more to come, right? That that's the best part about our business. There's more to come, and and you know we don't settle for what we've got. There is much more to come, and lunch is just about to happen, so we're gonna have to start yelling any any yeah. second now. Yeah. But here we go, my friends. Sandy, how do people get a hold of you? Instagram is the best way. I was, I was double checking <laughs> where is. Instagram is the easiest. Uh, it's Sandy McKay. They call it sandymckay.com and uh, connect with me, connect with me there. There you go, Andre. You know you're popular when you got to throw the it's or the at the front of the it. Real, the yeah. real. Yeah. Like all that stuff. Yeah, not yeah. too many it's. Do not too many it's. <laughs> it's, yeah. little, yeah. it's, it's special. It's special. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the sir at the start of your name, it's right? Like, like, if only we knew somebody it. like that. Yeah. If only we did. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little simpler. You can find me on Instagram as well. It's just Andre Chin KW. Easiest way to get a hold of us. And uh, look forward to connecting. Reach out. Beautiful. All right, my friends. This is Andre Chin. That's Sandy. It's Sandy it's, McKay. It's, it's. <laughs> of course, that's Sir Colin Campbell. I'm Gary McGowan, and we'll see everybody in the next episode. Goodbye for now. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to click the subscribe button so new episodes will automatically be downloaded to your device. Please help us reach more people by leaving a rating and a review on your podcast player of choice. Now go make it an amazing day for somebody.